Hello, welcome back to Media Pro. This is Xiao Xuan. The viral video module is being a quite tough and challenging academic year for all of us to run everything online. However, it's also a chance for me to experience a different way of combining the internet technologies with the study process, which is exactly what we need for the viral video theory practice, the rising power of technical approaches, and the overwhelming social media users. We are required to accomplish the filming of two videos. One is for individual projects, while another is a group project. It's important for us to fully acknowledge the viral media theory and the relevant theoretical practice to complete them. Therefore, in this video essay, I firstly analyze the theory I used and merged its videos in order to achieve virality via the internet. Moreover, I always evaluate two videos about the different levels of effects I actually achieved. Secondly, I also conclude what I learned from the teamwork this semester and give a critical reflection. For my video, to be honest, it's not my primary expectations of making a tourist guide video. Is that I intended to make it more academic. Initially, targeting the audience who want to go on a journey, I prefer to make a video promoting the city I lived in. It's also a city that I frequently engage with tourism and upcoming viral videos and topics. To achieve this, I researched what I learned from the bottom up series and found out why some videos would go viral and effectively attract others to follow what they said. Initially, Based on the theory of Nana Hemsley, the viral features of one video are initially contributed by the emotional aspect which is related to the effect that drives people to share. He analyzed that the elements from the video ought to evoke the emotions such as empathy or resonance with the characteristics of the video, whether it's humorous or simply some funny ideas. Moreover, based on the study of Berger, there are other contagious characteristics that spontaneously attract people to spread and pay attention to. It's mainly constituted by six principles at here. Social currency, triggers, emotion, public, practical value, and stories. For producing my video, I finally pick up some essential features from it. The entertaining effects, the association with specific elements, the willing of imitating as well as the efforts to save people time and share good experiences. When producing the video, I suddenly found out that, based on the graph produced by Berger, it was much more heightened the possibilities of going viral if a video presents with a positive emotion and interesting features. Therefore, I overthrew the first attempt of making it to a boring academic cliche and decided to turn it as a marketing video that potentially drove people to visit my city. After observing other viral videos about my city, I found out that if you want to make your video skills viral and contagious, you must produce something valuable in return for that. As what Berger said, to understand what makes something look like a good deal. Therefore, I decided to share my journey in Kaifun and offer people valuable advice on how to drive more efficiently. With my primary experience as a local, they can save time and have better experiences. Finally, it achieved the purpose of attracting people to share and visit my city. However, the most important difference between the two videos is that I didn't arouse people's emotions around it so that to make it more interesting to share. In other words, it is less of self-engagement and visible symbols to be distinctive. You can see that I mostly used a level short and plain descriptions in my video which lack of the positive emotions characterized by what Berger called as activation. For contagious characteristics, emotions serve a significant function to arouse sympathetic feelings and thus increase sharing. Therefore, for my group video, we also focused on the emotional effect of our content. That's the reason why it's still attractive even if we made it to an academic e-learning video. Initially, when I worked out with creative conceptualizations with my team members, we agreed to the target specifically on post-feminism, which is also a popular topic nowadays. Moreover, to make it not as plan as my first one, we also focus on the style and tone, which also represents practical value and emotion. For example, back to this graph, it shows that anger and anxiety lead to the high arousal emotions. Therefore, we display some hate comments to show how feminists are insulted online. It leads to a high psychological arousal that drives people to be angry and share more. Moreover, Rather than simply filming the whole video like my first one, we also use visual representations to maintain visual engagement and evoke more activating emotions via interesting features. Finally, we use specific cases from the program Sex and City to vividly demonstrate our understandings of feminism to the audience. 
The final effect also proves that the group video is more popular on YouTube, which gained more than 150 views. It really inspired me that sometimes we do need some tricks and emotions to drag audiences' attention. Another part of the video achievement is that it's accomplished with efforts of the whole group. In the second part, I'm going to illustrate how our team members work with each other to develop a coordinated approach to the production and the challenges we came across while performing within the team. Initially, I'll use Patrick Lencioni's theory of the five dysfunctions of a team to analyze how we avoid mistakes while building up the team. Lencioni divided the pyramid of the dysfunctions into five parts. The absence of trust, fear of conflict, lack of commitment, avoidance of accountability, and inattention to results. In his opinion, the premise of accomplishing teamwork is to resolve the trust issues. In his words, the positive way could be widely open to each other and build trust versus C relationships. Before the pre-production, we've been aware of the potential problem and try to deal with it first. Each of the members therefore complete a personal survey first to get to know with each other more clearly. Moreover, we also set up a more casual Facebook group to communicate more conveniently. We also came across with second and third issues during the pre-production period. According to Lencioni, it's more like a cause effect circle. The fear of engaging with passionate debates and conflicts thus leads to negative compromise and eventually lack of the commitment of clear plan. To solve this, we voted up a project leader to hold and supervise our meetings so that each other's members have fully clarified their opinions. Moreover, the leader could be anyone who puts forward a new idea. In such case, the most frequent question asked during group meetings is that, do you have any other thoughts? And maybe that works better if. Therefore, we use the leaders encourage and ensure every member has the chance to promote the arguments and finally came out with a mostly approved plan. The fourth and fifth stages of the dysfunctions generally occurred during the production procedure. We did come across similar conditions due to the remote study and time zone difference. This caused that we can't update with each other on time. Based on Lanchoni, to deal with the lack of calling up here, the different standards of performance and ensure that poor performers feel pressured to improve, we managed to allocate our work specifically to each member and marked at once. Moreover, we also assigned a leader in charge of the remaining and monitored whole group process. Our Facebook group became a platform to display the current schedule and more importantly, to alert to the possibility of delay. It is important that each of the members take their own responsibilities. Even if we run the whole procedure remotely, we still devote our efforts as much as we can. As what stated from the British Council report, to accept cultural differences and adjust communication. From this teamwork, I learned how we can separate numerous tasks into small groups. I was in charge of the creative conceptualization, script writing, and video editing. That crossed the process from the pre-production to post-production. However, to deal with the disadvantages of the cultural barrier within the group, we also set up some small groups for each task based on our different abilities, like this finished script writing group to talk only about researching and writing. With such development, we can still ensure the ability to deal with accidents when it's emergency. For instance, we found out that there are problems occurring after submission of our files. By using the skills we learned these days, immediately came out with corresponding solutions. Every one of us devotes the efforts as best as we can and eventually solve this within one night without any useless disputes. From the group project, I learned how we can build process in short periods and how to efficiently allocate each task in the group. Thanks for watching and hope you can learn something from my video as well.